Hi guys, Top Pops here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going Funko Pop hunting to a bunch of different stores. So let's get started. If I'm gonna be honest, I don't exactly know which stores we're going to, but what I do know is that we're gonna be starting at the mall and then we'll go from there. Oh, and also you might've noticed the Top Pops plushie off to the side and it was just released the other day on YouTube's.com and if you wanna pick one up, there's still a few available. And seriously, this thing is super high quality and it's even me holding a smaller version of me. And one thing that's really cool about this plush is it's the first one to use a lot of this gold material at the top here and it feels really cool. And I don't do merch very often. So if you guys wanna purchase one of these for yourself, it'll go directly into the channel helping me purchase more of these guys. And now I guess, guys, let's go hunting. All right, buddy, we have made it over to the mall. Let's see what we can find. All right, so we've made it to the pop section, and right away, I am noticing some pretty cool figures. Yeah. Like, way up at the top there, guys, they have the 10-inch Mew, and I do already have it in the collection, but it's still cool to see today. And then a little bit lower, if you notice, they've got the Iron Man with Gauntry, as well as the He-Man on Battle Cat, two pretty sick figures. And then as we get a little bit lower, it looks like they got in some of the Make-A-Wish <laughs> figures, and I am definitely gonna be getting this one today, because apparently Spider-Man's a pretty hard one to get, and it looks like they've got three of them. And if you guys want to get a little bit closer up, here it is, and also on the back of the box, oh, it doesn't have the entire set. Okay, I'll pop it on the screen. And then right underneath the Spider man we've got a bunch of the new pokemon ones and it looks like they have the entire set minus alakazam yeah it's too bad and then over here to the right we've got a lot of these squid game ones and then we've got like whitney houston kate pride as well as the queen general ramonda and then space jam a new legacy which is some pretty cool ones and then i think that's about it besides like the on sale ones and i'm not seeing anything too new down here actually i did find one more thing that i want to show off it is the santa phyllis which i know is coming in a little bit late but it's still cool and if you like the office all right so we got our stuff over at GameStop. Now, let's go into Sunrise Records. All right, so the first section that we're gonna be checking is kind of like, I guess, their themed one because we've got a lot of anime stuff over here. And it looks like they moved all of the Choco Cats to this spot. And then down here, we've got way too many of the Candyman ones. And I'm also noticing all regular price pops are two for 25, which isn't too bad. And then as we get a little bit farther over, we've got like Kid and Play, TLC, Salt and Peppa. And then over here, we've got a bunch of the Batman ones. And I'm still missing the chase for Oswald Cobblepot, but it doesn't look like they have it today. Oh, now this is a new section for pops because they used to be on the other side and it looks like they've moved most of them and I don't know if there's anything new here or maybe it's just like all of the ones from that side pushed to this side. Actually you know what now that I say that the Venomized Doctor Doom is definitely newer and I know that there is a chase to this figure so I'm wondering if maybe they've got it. Okay here's some here. Oh, it's just a three in the front. Oh, and actually to go back to this section, I'm noticing that the Zombie Mystique is also a new one. And I don't know where it's normally exclusive to, but I guess here in Canada, it's Sunrise Records. And now let's take a look at the normal section where they've got a lot of the Eddie Van Halen as well as Post Malone, Machine Gun Kelly. And I'm gonna be honest, guys, that other side seemed to have more of the newer stuff. I'm not seeing much over here. Hmm, okay, guys, I'm doing some more digging and I see like Leech, which we see all the time. And I guess the Clark Griswold is newer, Negaduck's newer. But yeah, I'm not seeing anything new that we didn't see last time over here. Okay. So we are now in the Walmart pop section. I'm genuinely surprised with their selection today. And now taking a quick glance at this, it might not look like too much is new, but they actually got in some of these Spider-Man No Way Home figures. And then over here, they got in this set of Harry Potter ones and a bunch of new exclusives. As well as guys, check this out, a bunch of new pocket pops. No, what are you looking at? Oh, <laughs> that's a pretty funny one. And it looks like guys, they got in all of them, if not most of them. And Noah pointed this one out to me. I don't exactly know what this is. Is there a name for it on the side there? It's a Walmart exclusive, I see that. But is it like a Frozen Freddy maybe? Let's figure that out. Yeah, does it have a name in the tag? It sometimes doesn't, that's the problem. See, uh, I knew it. See, yeah, I told you, it wasn't gonna have a name. Well, anyways guys, I don't know if I'm gonna be getting one today, but if you guys wanna check it out, Walmart in Canada now has them. And then down here guys, it looks like they've got a bunch more of the Funko version. Aha, would you look at that? They have the chase. Now normally I would say no chase left behind, but I could have picked up maybe like four or five of these ones. So we're gonna leave it for somebody else, but it's still pretty cool to find. And then a little bit lower, they have the Alice in Wonderland one, which should also have a chase to go along with it. I don't know if they have it today, but if they do, aha. Would you look at that? It was kind of out of focus, but if you guys want to check it out, that one back there, the Queen of Hearts is Diamond Edition. Pretty sick. Oh, and that one I also already have. Since no one, I don't really have anything to do today. We were doing some more digging in stores that we wouldn't normally come into, and one of them that we ran into was the Hudson's Bay. And when we came in here, there was two things that I wanted to show you guys. The first one being this down here at the bottom. It is still $12 for this. I don't know who's gonna be buying this one, but uh, yeah, I kind of feel bad for Colossus. And then the other thing that I found 
found was over here. They had one pack of Brilliant Stars and I kind of want to grab it. And after I found this pack, I did a little bit more digging around the store to see if I could find any other ones and I couldn't. So this might be the only one in the store. So I got to get it. Okay, everybody. So we are back in the car and I've got a bit of an update about the Pokemon because it's pretty weird. We went over to the cash to purchase them. And when we did, they tried to scan it and nothing was coming up. So they brought a manager over and then they found out that the cards might be stolen. And I know this sounds kind of crazy, but when she scanned the barcode, it actually came up as indigo. And no, I know they sell them there. I don't know what's going on with that though. It's very weird. And they came up with a scenario that was maybe like the kids stole them from the Coles in the mall and then they dropped them up there so that way they didn't get in trouble. And so we weren't able to buy the pack of cards, but the good news is I got a pack of cards over at GameStop. So we'll open that up at the end of the video. And now I'm actually really bummed that I wasn't able to get that exact pack of cards because I wanted to see what was inside because you never know, there could be like a rainbow Charizard. Probably was just because. I know. Yeah. Well, anyways, let's go to Toys R Us. All right, everyone, so we've made it into Toys R Us and looking at the section, there was a lot of new stuff today. Starting over here on the bottom, they've got like the glow in the dark Luke Skywalker, which I'm definitely going to be getting, as well as this Rocky with chicken. And I do already have this in the collection, but it's cool to see a new Funko Shop exclusive here in Canada. And then to the right of that, we've got Morpheus. And then we also have Hello Kitty and then the red Boba Fett. And I'm definitely getting this one too. Oh, and I don't know if Noah's going to want this one. I can ask him, but this one here is the Sasuke from Boruto. He might, I'm not sure. And then look at that guy's right. Right above it, they've got the Mask Soldier from Squid Game. This one is the Funko Shop exclusive. It hasn't even released on there yet. So this is, again, another one I'm going to be getting. And then as we get a little bit higher, I'm seeing pretty much the entire set of Squid Game ones. And then they also have Chris Stapleton, which I believe is a new figure for here. Like, I don't think I've... No, I've never seen this one. And then as we get a little bit farther over, they've got, like, a lot of the newer Pokemon ones, as well as the Riddler and Kramer we see here all the time. But I think this one's new. The Zodiac from Masters of the Universe? It looks like it. And and then as we get a little bit farther over, I'm seeing like a lot of the ones that we see pretty much all the time, but I think in the art series section, yes, they did. They got a new one, the Mr. Freeze. And I don't know if I'm gonna grab this one today, but it is pretty cool to see. And if you guys wanna check it out, here he is. Oh, just the guy I was looking for. Okay, I had a question for you. Did you want this one for the collection? It's like it? the old man Sasuke. Uh, it's, I know, that's what you're, I know, I know, I know. See, we, we have to finish what we've started. The Naruto Can't collection? start a new one. But here's my thing. I got all the Boruto original set. We could get the second set because they're in stores now. Do you want to get them for the collection? No, that's okay. All right, all right. I guess we'll pass on it today. It's a cool one though. It is neat. That's why I thought you might want it. Okay, now I came over to the pop pin section because I can't tell, but it looks like there are some new ones here. Like this looks like way more than last time. It's hard to tell though. Oh, are you kidding me? <gasps> That's new. And now I don't know if I'm gonna be getting this thing today because I did see right away that this thing is $60, but an ALF puppet? Come on, that's funny. And I mean, I'm gonna be honest, you don't see ALF stuff very often, so maybe I'll think about it. Okay, what the heck is that thing? I like the clear. Uh, what's his name? Mutengen Man. Mutengen Man. Okay, that is interesting. If you guys don't know, I guess Toys R Us in Canada is starting to get in a bunch of the reaction figures. These are pretty sick. And it's not even just on this side. They also have a bunch over here. It looks like G.I. Joe as well as more of the Turtles. It. And then over here, more G.I. Joe, Frankenstein, Dracula. And then on this last side here, we've got like more G.I. Joe. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty cool. And now I don't know if I'm gonna be getting any today, but I am really enjoying these TMNT ones, so I might have to pick up, ooh, they are 22. I'll think about it. On our way back to the office, we decided to go over to Value Village because we haven't been to this one in a little bit, and it looks like they actually have some pretty good stuff today. The first thing that I noticed up here is like an inbox. It looks like a Thai beanie baby. It is, that's kind of funny. And then I noticed, look at this guys, they've got some Funko Pops. So this one here is Arya Stark from Game of Thrones. I'm probably gonna get it. And then a little bit lower, or check this out guys one of the Iron Man wacky wobblers from Funko I am definitely grabbing this thing too and then it looks like somebody took every single Skylander in the store and put them into one spot and I did notice over here check this out another Funko pop but he doesn't have his hockey stick so I'm probably not gonna get it and then I figured I might as well check the bags because you never know there could be Funko pops or just any random collectibles over here and so far I am not seeing much well, that's too bad. Like I am noticing some more Beanie Babies down here, which I don't really care to grab. And then I, over here, I noticed some of those like itty bitties that they sell over at Hallmark. But yeah, nothing that I'm really interested in today. I came over to the board game section to see if they had anything interesting and they do. Check this out guys. It is the Star Wars Classic Trilogy Monopoly. I don't know if I'm gonna get it because the box seems to be in like eh condition, but it is really cool to see. And I mean, come on, look at that board. Actually, now that I look at it, it's upside down. No, could you flip the video? Thanks. 
We're back and let's go through everything that I picked up today because it was a pretty good amount of stuff. And also, I know I said at the beginning that we were gonna be going to a bunch of stores, but it turned out to be way more than I expected, so you're welcome. <laughs> and I guess we'll start with what we got over at GameStop because this was the first store that we went to. And I guess I'll show you guys these, which is all of the Pokemon cards that I picked up. And I got, well, a lot more than I expected. And I know that we had talked about the Hudson's Bay situation where we went in, I tried to buy the pack of cards and they wouldn't let me. So I figured we might as well open up one of these today because it's close enough. Even though I really want to know what is inside that exact pack, this will do for today. And so here we go, everybody. Let's find out what we're going to be getting inside of this Whimsicott pack. And I'm not going to set it up for my normal Pokemon video just because it's only one pack today. So let's find out how we're going to do. Okay, one, two, three, four. We'll be quick about it because it's not a Pokemon channel, but I thought it'd be fun to do one today because we don't do them very often. And here we go. Let's see how we do. Come on, come on. Please be something good. Okay, we're almost getting there to the reverse hollow. That is the reverse and we got, <laughs> look at that. Okay, I did it wrong because the energy was in the back, but the full art Raichu V. Okay, that's a great one to pull on camera. And no, I mean, seriously guys, that is a crazy card. And now let's get into the pop that I purchased at GameStop, which was only one, but I think it's a really good one. This one here is the Make-A-Wish Spider-Man, and I'm trying to get this entire set because it's going to a really good cause, but also I'm a big fan of this blue. And I really am enjoying how they have that Pops With Purpose sticker on the front there. And if you guys don't know, this is something that Funko started a little bit more recently. It's kind of like a philanthropic way of doing pops. I really like it. Philanthropic? Philanthropic. I hope I'm using that right. But I digress. And taking a look on the back here, it says, in honor and celebration of World Wish Day 2021 as part of Pops With Purpose program, Funko has donated $150,000 to Make-A-Wish, an organization that creates life-changing wishes for children with critical illnesses, which I really enjoy, so I'm glad that I could help and pick these up. And if you guys want to check out the back of the box, here is all of the information as well as their website, and I'm hoping that I am able to get this entire set, and I want to do a complete hunt looking for them, so stay tuned. And actually, now that I'm talking about this, I did try to order the Box Hunch exclusive Mickey Mouse, and they canceled my order, so I'm gonna have to find some other way to get that one. We'll figure it out. And then the next store that we would have went to is Toys R Us, and I got... What was that? Anyways, the next store that we would have went to is Toys R... Alf, what are you oh, doing here? Oh, oh hi there. Uh, I, I followed you home. From Toys R Us? Yeah. Uh, anything. You got anything to eat? I, I mean, we might have something in the fridge. I, I don't know. I already ate the dog, so... Bailey? I don't know what his name was. He didn't have a collar on. Would you just get out of here? Go. Get... Come on. Fine, but I'm still hungry. All right. Oh, a cat. Num, num, num. <sighs> Well, now that we've been rudely interrupted, let's get into the sodas that we got first because I ended up picking up two of the Willy Wonka ones and I'm really hoping for that golden ticket. And so let's find out if we're gonna be getting the Willy Wonka holding one. And here we go with the first character. Please be in here. Come on, come on. It's not. Yeah, guys, it looks like there is no golden ticket on this thing. But have no fear, everybody. The second soda is here, and I'm hoping that we can get it for this one because I really don't want to buy another one because this will be my fourth. I hope this works out. And here we go, everybody. Let's hope that we can get the one with the golden ticket. Please, 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 please. Mm, nope. And you know what, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure Toys R Us had an entire case, so maybe if they still have four next time I go, I'll pick up a couple more. It's just too bad we didn't get one today. And now I showed them off while we were in the store, but I also did end up getting three Funko Pops, with the first one here being the Red Chrome Boba Fett, and I'm kind of surprised that the Target Con stuff that is red is coming to Canada, because it doesn't really make sense anywhere else. And don't get me wrong, I'm not opposed to it, I just think it's kind of funny that they are coming to Canada, because this is definitely like a Target thing and not a Toys R Us one. Like, if they also made one to Canada that had like a bunch of different colors like Toys R Us, that would be cool, but I'm still okay with this one. And then keeping it Star Wars themed, I also ended up getting this Luke Skywalker right here, which is definitely a cool one, especially because he's got his hood on. And now I have both of the ones for the Mandalorian because the other one that I've got is him holding Grogu and they'll look really great next to each other. And I noticed that this one does say it glows in the dark and I'm guessing the only thing that glows is the lightsaber. That would make sense. And if I'm gonna be honest, I don't exactly know where this one was exclusive to. I guess I can scan it into the Funko app. Why not? I've been using the Funko app a lot recently to figure this stuff out. So Funko, if there's a paycheck for me, that would be nice. 
nice. This one was exclusive to, ah, Entertainment Earth. And you know what, now that I'm looking at it, I can definitely picture Entertainment Earth posting it. And also it does show what glows on the Funko app. And yeah, it's just a lightsaber. And then the last pop that we ended up picking up was the Masked Worker. And it's kind of funny because this has a smaller version of the Funko Shop sticker. And it kind of looks like they made it that squid game color. It's a little bit weird. And I understand that it is just a little bit smaller. So maybe that's the only difference. But for some reason, the blue also looks different. I don't have a Funko Shop one around. Otherwise, I'd check. Actually, I might have one behind me. Yeah, I do right here, the Big Al. And if you guys want to see it, yeah, the blue looks a little bit more like, I don't even know what the color is, maybe teal? Is that the right color? It's definitely different. And also, I don't know if I mentioned it, but now that I've got this one in the collection, I have every single Squid Game Funko Pop, and now I'm just waiting for Wave 2. And then everybody, the last place that I got something was Value Village. And let's go through the stuff that I got there, because it wasn't much, but it was some pretty interesting stuff. With the first thing being this Iron Man Wacky Wobbler, and it is a little bit dirty, like there's some scuff marks on it, but I can definitely clean those off. They don't seem too bad. And I was looking on the bottom here, and it says that this actually came out in 2008, which is the year that I actually started collecting Funko. Not Pop but actually Wacky Wobblers. And I think I've talked about this before on the channel. If you guys didn't know, I actually started with these guys and not Pops. And then I got two more things, the Arya Stark Funko Pop, which you guys saw, but then I also ended up grabbing this because I thought it was too funny. I couldn't pass up on it. This one here is the Nintendo DS Over the Hedge Hammy Goes Nuts, and I've never seen it before, so I was like, you know what, let's grab it. Especially because it looked like everything was inside and then the game was only $3.99, so I couldn't pass up on it. And then if you guys want to take a look at the Arya Stark, I'm noticing that this one doesn't stand too well, so I don't think I'm going to be able to do a 360 for it. But if you guys want to take a look at her, here she is. And it was only, I think, like $3.99. It was $5.99. Jeez. You know what, guys? Now that I think about it, this is the most expensive thing that I bought over at Value Village because this one here was $2.99 and then the game, like I mentioned, was $4.99. Come on. And I'm guessing it's because they can mark them up and people will still buy them like I did. And well, anyways, guys, there you go. That is everything for today. And let me know in the comment section below, what was your favorite thing that I picked up? Because I got a lot of random stuff. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, come subscribe, do all that. But this has been an episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Dripping like a school. 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 Baby gonna school. School. She funny with it. Funny with it. Cool. Five, four, thump, I'm a hump on a bounce, Jack and Jill up a hill. Baby trying to get a meal. Mary had a little lamb. I really do not fuck with that. She calling me the muffin, man. I surely like the muffin top. Snow, hey. lama lashes.